Hi guys and welcome back to Switch Up. Welcome to all the new people and any new Switch owners. Congratulations, it's a pretty decent little console. This list is going to be for everyone. There are some classic games on sale. If you enjoy the content then consider subscribing and if you're a current Switch Up family member then try and help some people out down below. Check the community posts as we'll be announcing the winners of our free games for this month so make sure those notifications are on. One tiny quality of life feature I've added this time round. In the top right of the screen I'll show whether it's an EU or a US or both sale. With that said, let's jump into the list. Well, we're in the shit now. First up then we have an absolutely incredible game and it's Enter the Gungeon, which has also recently had a large update. You can either, with a friend or on your own, choose a Gungeoneer and then enter some randomly generated dungeons that end with a floor boss. The game is so slick and well designed. You can knock over tables and use them as cover, and books and other useless paraphernalia will be going everywhere as you shoot using the twin stick controls. The star of the show here are the numerous different guns that you can acquire, each of which fires in a unique manner and drastically changes the way you have to play the game. As you improve your skills and progress further, the challenge will ramp up. But there are a number of shops and merchants to mitigate this allowing you to purchase new gear and items. It comes in at under 500 megabytes as well. So again, for new owners, particularly ones that don't have a micro SD card just yet, you're getting a hell of a lot of bang for your buck. I can't tell you enough how much of a worthy purchase this is at a measly five pounds or so, or your regional equivalent. It's a must buy. Next up then is Larian Studios' excellent CRPG, that's classic RPG, that also has turn-based combat in there as well, Divinity Original Sin 2. Now, despite not having local co-op, which is a bit of a shame, the single-player story of this is incredible. You take control of one of several classes or predefined characters with their own backstories and go off on a very familiar quest. If you're used to things like Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 or the Neverwinter Nights titles, then you'll know what to expect expect here. Expect a great deal of choice. Do you help that person or do you rob them and leave them for dead? How do you approach that difficult fight? Do you block a doorway and trap a boss inside, wail on them and then leave them for dead before unblocking the doorway as you can move all items physically and then fighting the rest of his henchmen? While at launch the performance wasn't perfect in all areas, it's seen several patches which have helped improve this. There are still a few issues in late game but none that even come close to hindering my recommendation on this this one, especially now that it's 30% off. A brilliant title that has hundreds of hours of potential gameplay. Oh, and it's got a cat and a dog and a talking skull, so what more could you want? Next up, we've got a bit of action. And if you haven't played Katana Zero, then pick that up. But the one I want to talk about now is My Friend Pedro, also from Devolver Digital. The game describes itself as a bullet ballet, and I think that's about as close as we're going to get to a good description. Put it this way, there's a level where you get to ride a skateboard, kick flip over an enemy's head in slow motion whilst shooting them from above with a shotgun. You can dodge bullets, slow time, and there's a talking banana. It's pretty much the perfect game in terms of just having a fun time, but there's also a speedrunning element to it, whereby your entire run is judged and given a score, with online leaderboards to boot. It's an excellent experience, and with a juicy 30% reduction, worth adding to your new Switch collection. All aboard the hype train. Choo choo. So we've had some co-op, we've had some RPG, and some action. What about a touch of strategy then? This is probably the best deal I've seen on the eShop in a long time. The game is called Hard West from Forever Entertainment and is a top-down XCOM style story-driven game. It's brilliant. You play several different characters throughout your adventure, starting as a prospecting father and son duo in the Gold Rush, where you'll be establishing yourselves as a new company. But things soon turn a little sour. And as the story progresses, which is played 
played out in a series of smaller chapters, you'll take control of several other unusual characters and even, dare I say it, the undead. At the moment, this is £1.79 in the UK, which is less than a Savaloy and Chips. <laughs> Google it if you don't know what that is, but it's an absolute bargain. Go out and buy it. If you don't have it, just buy it. £1.79, it's 90% off. Next up, a touch of top-down, old-school, retro-style violence and gore in the form of Hotline Miami Collection, another game from the legends over at Devolver Digital. These top-down, almost retro-style games play out like murder puzzles of sorts. There's a touch of strategic stealth, there's full-blown shotgun mayhem, and it's all draped over a neon and crimson aesthetic that just looks incredible. They're a touch more linear than the recent sequel that we reviewed on the channel, but there's such a sardonic humour to them, and I thoroughly enjoyed the skill-based nature of these titles. At a whopping 50% off, you're getting two big games for a minute price. Say what you will about the awesome 90s action film Mortal Kombat, the game Mortal Kombat 11 is a return to form for the series. Yes, the Switch version is much blurrier than the other versions, but having it in hand held and currently at 60% off, now's the time to make the purchase. Now, Glenn reviewed this one and he enjoyed it thoroughly, but it's got a lot of hate for having the blurrier visuals, but come on, it's a Tegra 1 chipset and they have worked to improve performance and visuals as the game's gone on. Still, I think NeverRealm Studio did a decent job. It's the first fighter in this lineup, and if you felt that it was perhaps a touch too expensive at the start, it's definitely one of the best fighting games on Switch, so maybe add it to your new collection. Plus that music. Come on. We've mentioned the Final Fantasy titles a few times, but I want to focus particularly on one game, and it's Final Fantasy Maxima. The reason I want to focus on it is because it was so different to what I was used to. It's another title that almost does Pokemon a bit better than some of the Pokemon games we've seen recently. There is a battling mechanic quite similar to that series, but I really liked how you can go from the chibi to the more realistic, and I use that in air quotes, characters. The world itself is absolutely beautiful, but it feels quite distinctly unique. Now there are some more boring moments, but come on, it's a Final Fantasy game, there tend to be quite a few of those, but I enjoyed the shift away from what I was used to. It's not going to suit everyone, and it can be a little slower paced at times, but I'd say it's a bit of a gem within the Final Fantasy series and universe, and currently at 50% off, you could do a lot worse than this game. If you would prefer a more traditional style, then perhaps check out Final Fantasy XII, which is another one which didn't get quite as much attention as perhaps it deserved. Alright, next up we have Hyper Light Drifter the Special Edition, which is running at a silky 60 frames per second, which makes such a difference in a game of this style. It's a very unusual and mysterious game with beautiful music, and includes all of the extra content that were in the previous remastered editions as you try to get to grips with your deadly blade caster. There are several outfits in the game which also change up the experience and allow you to reach different areas and treasures. I can't state enough how much of a classic this title is. And if you haven't had a chance to experience it yet, maybe on other platforms, it's another one of those titles that just benefits from being in handheld and with a good set of headphones on. There's an intimacy to it. At 40% off, it's the time to buy.
Next up for a strategy essential, we have Advanced War, I mean, <coughs> War Groove, obviously inspired by that title. Chucklefish did an excellent job of making the strategically accessible spiritual successor to that series work so well on Switch. Not only is there a vast single player campaign with several different commanders and units to control, there is also competitive as well as cooperative multiplayer. And while many consider Advanced Wars to be the absolute godfather of this style, War Groove brings its own fresh take with its 12 plus characters, several different warring factions, and the ability to design and share your own battlefields. And if after hundreds of hours you get a little bit bored with that, there's the interesting puzzle mode, a series of more difficult challenges that you've got to beat in one turn. It's currently 30% off on the eShop and possibly one of the better multiplayer experiences, allowing for 1-4 to four local and 1-4 to four online play. See me coming! Greetings. I'm gonna break you! I made it myself. We could use this. My final pick then is Death Road to Canada, a game which launched to not much fanfare but in my opinion deserves way more credit. You create a custom character and then head out in your vehicle of choice on quite possibly the most uninviting road trip of all time. As you stop off at randomly generated locations, there'll be different survivors that you encounter and events that take place and all the other people you meet will have unique personalities that you kind of have to manage. There are 500 different zombies on screen at any time trying to chow down on your brain juices to stop you from scavenging and looting the environments before you can quickly get back to your vehicle and burn off. There are tons of different weapons to find but also as with any good zombie movie there are some really brutal choices to make along the way. One big element of the game that I don't think many people realise is that you can do four player co-op and with a group of mates just sat around maybe a pizza on one side, a few cans of your favourite fizzy beverage and a chunk of time this is an incredible incredible co-op experience that's currently half price at around about six quid an absolute bargain that's it for this list let me know down in the comments any that you are going to pick up or maybe you've added some to your wish list if you enjoyed the content then consider joining us and a big thanks to our patrons who support us every single month remember we do give away free games all the time and keep your eye on those community posts as we'll be announcing the winner of our wild west giveaway for all things switch all the time keep it switch up cheers guys see ya under the stars, under the stars.